The pronunciation of internal organs can be tricky. So in this video, I'm going to show you how and give you some tips on practicing your pronunciation. I'm Joan from Specialist Language Courses, the world's leading medical English provider. And in this video, I'm going to help you with your pronunciation of the internal organs. Let's go. Do you know how to correctly pronounce these internal organs? Kidney, liver, testicles, thymus, stomach, brain, uterus, lungs, thyroid, pancreas, intestine. Now let's practice. Listen and repeat. Copy the pronunciation. Kidney. Liver, testicles, thymus, stomach, brain, uterus, lungs, thyroid, pancreas, intestine. Why not go back and do it again? Practice is key. Did you know that many medical English terms are made up from Latin or Greek terms? You probably know many of them. Let's take a look. Can you match the organ to the terms in this table? These Latin and Greek prefixes are used in medical terms. For example, I'm sure you have heard these before. Pulmonary embolism comes from the Latin term pulmono. Pneumonia comes from the Greek term pneumo. And here are some more. Cerebrovascular disease. Cerebro, hysterectomy. Hystero, nephrologist. Nephro, gastroenteritis. Gastro, orchiectomy, orchi. Can you think of any more medical terms which begin with these prefixes? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to practice your pronunciation of medical terms. Here are a few tips to help you. Always mark which syllable is stressed for future reference. For example, pancreas. Here, the first syllable is stressed, pancreas. Now you say it, pancreas. Let's do another one. Nephrologist. The third syllable is stressed. Now you say it, nephrologist. Which syllable is stressed here? Gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis. That's right, it's the fifth syllable. Now you say it, gastroenteritis. For longer words like this, try breaking it down. Start at the end of the word and add a syllable each time to build up the word. Let's try. Listen and repeat at each section. Is. Ritis. Teritis. Enteritis. Troenteritis. Gastroenteritis. So what medical terms do you find difficult to pronounce? Let me know in the comments below. And congratulations on getting to the end of the video. We've got a gift for you. We've got a free handout, a glossary of terms that we've looked at today. Simply write organ in the comments below and we'll send you a link. And if you want to learn more body parts such as these, why not check out this video here? See you in the next video. Bye bye. This video I'm going to give you so what internal organs do you find difficult see you in the uh...